And now that same word is being used for these people and they're being told the time to have sabr and it had some value was in this life. وَالطُّورِ وَكِتَابٍ مَسْطُورٍ in the Quran. Allah never lets it go to waste. Even in the worldly sense, some man, young man who really has a lot of desires, he wants to get married, but he can't get married. He can't afford to get married yet. Allah says to him, instead of marrying someone of less character, if you just can be sub, have sabr, it's better for you. If you can have sabr, it will be better for you. So even that sabr will lead to something better. And of course, the biggest one, وَصْبِرُوا إِنَّ اللَّهَ مَعَ الصَّابِرِينَ have sabr. Allah is with those who have sabr. So sabr was one of the highest qualities, the climax of Surah Al-Asr. And the top of it all, sabr. And now that same word is being used for these people and they're being told the time to have sabr and it had some value was in this life. When sabr had value. Everything that used to have value here has no value there. You see, Tawbah used to have value here. Tawbah on Judgment Day has no value. Believing in Allah has value here. Believing in Allah on Judgment Day has no value. You see, asking Allah to get another chance in this life has value. Asking Allah for another chance on that life has no value. So everything that used to have value here doesn't have, and everything that used to, yeah, I, I, even in the material sense, wealth used to have value, children used to have value. These things had value. On Judgment Day, Allah says, even if you try to give me the entire world, it won't be any good. You can't save you. That doesn't have value anymore. And so sabr has a lot of value in this life. And then the kuffar are told, this is the sabr. You, it, you needed a lot less sabr in this life. A lot less. And you could have avoided this. But now, if you didn't want to have sabr in this life, well, then enjoy having sabr or not in the next life. Isbiru aw la tasbiru. Sawa'un alaykum. And finally, innama tujzawna ma kuntum ta'amaloon. The last piece of this, which is to me a very powerful piece of the ayah. So I want you to understand the difference between innama tujzawna bima kuntum ta'amaloon and innama tujzawna ma kuntum ta'amaloon. There's a, one of them I read with a B. Yeah? But the ayah doesn't have a B. Okay? So what's the difference if the B was there or the B was not there? If the B is there, it actually means you are being paid, you are being rewarded based on what you did. Okay? So for example, I'll give you an easy example at work. You're being given this money based on your, your performance. You're being given this promotion based on your work. You're being given this grade in school based on your term paper. You understand? So based on this, you get this. But this is not with a ba. This is without a ba. Actually, it means this is exactly what you did that you're being given. You're not being given something based on your actions. You are actually being given your actions themselves. <laughs> Like you thought your actions were playing around, but your actions themselves were fire. Allah describes this in other places. This is the treasure you gathered for yourselves, sarcastically, he says. This is actually the treasure you gathered for yourselves. In another place in the Quran, he says about people who steal money from orphans. Right? They're supposed to take care of the orphan, but they steal their money instead and they eat it for themselves. They're only putting fire in their belly. So they're actually putting chicken in their belly or they're putting fish in their belly or rice in their belly. But the reality of that chicken is it's not chicken at all. It's not rice at all. It's actually fire. So Allah is redefining something in this world by the Akhirah's definition. I know that's a hard concept to understand. The way I can think of it is, you know how sometimes you have like these x-ray glasses? Like the x-ray machine at the airport? And you can see the insides of your laptop? And you're like, whoa, that looks cool. Right? Or they can see how dirty your packing is. Right? <laughs> like, uh, 
Especially when they say, open it up. I'm like, oh my God. My socks were on top. <laughs> so the thing is, the outside of it is just joking around. But the inside reality of it is, it was actually the march towards hell. You're being given exactly what you did. Not based on what you did. This is what you did. Hey guys, you just watched a small clip of me explaining the Quran in depth as part of the Deeper Look series. Studying the Quran in depth can seem like a really intimidating thing that's only meant for scholars. Our job at Bayan is to make deeper study of the Quran accessible and easy for all of you. So take us up on that challenge. Join us for this study, the deeper look of the Quran for this surah and many other surahs on BayanaTV.com under the Deeper Look section.